everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching season 2 episode 16 of Supernatural. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Last episode was insane, crazy, very odd. It was a very different episode of Supernatural, it was very much focused on the comedy side, which I think we definitely needed after the hard hitting episode 14. The villain, the trickster, was one of my favourites so far, he was amazing and I'm so glad that he didn't get vanquished at the end, there's still hope for him to come back someday. He was quite a match for Sam and Dean, he had a fairly similar personality to them with regards to pranking people, having a funny side but obviously Sam and Dean would never just go about killing people for no reason. Sam and Dean's brother dynamic was also at its peak last episode. The way that they're perceived by each other and all the bickering that they were doing last episode just felt so realistic because that is exactly what siblings are like. It was nice to see Bobby back as well, he was the peacekeeper between the two and without him they would have been completely lost in that case because the so was playing with their minds but it was a really good episode one of my favorites of the show so far season two just isn't disappointing and we'll see what we're in for today let me make it up to you okay come here stop come on, I'm oh she's you. driving <laughs> in the dog hey you love me no yeah. i don't you're a jerk <laughs> 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 who was that that looks a bit like poppy <laughs> That was David's fault, not gonna lie. Dave. Dave. He's, what? He left her in there? David. Oh, I don't like her being in the woods on her own. Oh, an abandoned house. Oh. Hunter's place. It's you. I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. Are you? Uh. What was that? It had black eyes. It looked like a demon inhabitation, but it also looked like it was turning into a monster. It continues. Oh my god, longest intro ever. Stop! Stop! Oh, is that Sam and Dean? <laughs> please! Please! Right, right, calm down, calm down. Tell us what happened. This is her lucky day. <laughs> the most perfect people to come across. That's when the man from the road, he's, he started chasing me. He's, he... Did he look like he lost a fight with a lawnmower? How did you know that? Lucky guess. What? Are they in the middle of a case? Could you just take me back to my car, please? Of course. I don't understand. I'm sure Stop. this is where it was. We, we, we hit that tree right there. But what about David? Something must have happened. I have to get to the cops. Cops, you know what? That's a great idea. In fact, we'll take you down to the station ourselves, okay? So just <laughs> come with us. So they must have been hunting that greedy man and thought they'd got rid of him and they hadn't. This is weird. It's like starting off in the middle of a case and introducing a new one. It's our five year anniversary. The hell of an anniversary. Hell indeed. You know the last thing I said to him? I called him a jerk. Oh God. Did you? No. I feel like this is combining so many supernatural elements into one. What? It was playing when we crashed. She didn't lie. Oh no! Hold on. What are you doing? Not a physical figure. I don't think he's gonna let her leave. Oh no, they've got a similar setup to what he had. Um, okay, thanks for helping, but I think I got it covered from here. I can't believe they opened it so casually without telling her. Hunting for what? Ghosts. D d don't sugarcoat it for her. You're nuts. 
One night a year on the anniversary of his death, he haunts this road. That's why we're here, Molly. To try and stop him. That wedding yeah, anniversary is the same as the anniversary of his death. Ghost made my car disappear, too. Crazier things Probably. have happened. I'm gonna get the cops myself. I don't mean to be harsh, but I don't think you're gonna get too far. Oh, Dean, that sounds really scary. <laughs> you're serious about this, aren't you? Deadly. Dean! <laughs> Dean does not have a good bedside manner. He sounds so Every scary. Really Deadly. To to Tonight, that person is you. This is why well, Sam I'm is always the best in this anything. situation. He's got Doesn't such matter. a soothing, calming manner about him. Some spirits only see what they want. No markers or headstones outside. You looking for Greeley's grave? Yeah. Why? So we could dig up the corpse and salt and burn it. This is a fascinating conversation and all, but uh, this highway's only haunted once a year, and we got till sun up to wrap this thing up, so what do you say we move it along, okay? Great. Dean is moody today. Oh, is she the only one that can hear that? David? No! Don't! <laughs> oh my god, that noise! Whoops. That thing shoots rock salt? Yep. And plain salt keeps away spirits. Simple remedies are always the best. Most cultures, salt's a symbol of purity. So it repels impure and unnatural things. It's Greeley and his wife. It's a love letter he wrote, huh? My God, it's beautiful. Who would have thought he'd be the kind to write love letters and keep photo books of his love? Well, spirits like Greeley are, uh, like wounded animals. Lost so much pain they they lash out well, there's some part of them that that's keeping them here unfinished business like their remains or um unfinished business whatever it is they just hold on too tight can't let go so they're trapped this is going to turn out to be a sad outcome where we feel bad for him you sound almost sorry for them well they weren't evil people same as always getting a little J-love here when it comes to things like this. Me? I don't like him. I'm not sure it's only making apologies for him. Sam has empathy. Something behind here. Dean <laughs> swoops in and finds it first try. <laughs> Ugh, I bet there's a lot of spiders in there. Smells like old lady in here. A dead body of an old lady. Yes. That would explain why. She didn't want to live without him. You hunt these things, but you don't know what happens to them? Well, they never come back. That's all that matters. I hope someplace better, but we don't know. What happens when you burn their bones? Well, my dad used to say that was like death for ghosts, you know? But the truth is... I still don't know. That is interesting. I wonder if there's a different rule for ghosts or for people that turn into evil spirits. Do they go to heaven or hell, even if they were good people? I have to see him again. I have to. Hmm. She's sounding like she could have some unfinished business now. I think we should tell her about her husband. We can't. They know something? Dean, it's cruel. Letting her pine for him like this. I don't like keeping her in the dark. It's for her own good. He's coming. That song again. Stay with her. It's a good song, but it's going to make them never want to listen to it again. <laughs> oh! Dean! He's got Molly! How did you do that so fast? I swear there's a tree there right where they're standing. He turned into a tree? What did you do to him? Does it speak? You shouldn't worry oh, about yes. him anymore. Of course it does. We've heard it speak. Oh my god. You should worry about yourself. I know. Ugh. I know about your wife. Hurting me won't bring her back. All I got left's hurting you. Ah! 
You're not gonna leave. You're never gonna leave. No, no. I don't think he got him again. Oh, thank God. Now call me Dean. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's powerful. He took a while holding that match. He lit it and stared at it for a couple of seconds. Bye bye, Greeley. Still feels like there's more to the story, though. He's dead. No, Molly. David's alive. Oh. What? We'll take you to him. Come on. Why would they keep it a secret then? And what happened to her car? <laughs> what? What's happening? Who is that? Is she a ghost? That's David's wife. Has she been a ghost all this time? Fifteen years ago, you and your husband hit Jonah Greeley with your car. David survived. We're saying that there isn't just one spirit haunting Highway 41. There are two. What? Jonah Greeley and you. It was our anniversary, February 22nd. 1992. Yes. Molly, it's 2007. Oh. Woman appearing in the middle of the road, being chased by a man covered in blood. Two spooks? That's insane! What? We followed the whole thing from her perspective. If anyone managed to figure that out, props to you. Now where's Molly Berry? She, she wasn't buried anywhere. She was cremated. Your spirits only see what they want. David! David? You have to help me! Dean, I don't think she knows she's dead. They could have showed us that at the start! <laughs> Some spirits hold on too tight. Oh, it all makes sense Can't now. Each year he punishes somebody for his death. Uh, chasing them. Torturing them. Somebody is you. Wow. But I don't remember any of it. Because you couldn't see the truth, Molly. You killed us both. To be fair, if it played out like they showed, it was kind of David's fault. <laughs> Just let go of David, of everything. You do that. We think you'll move it's on. It's so interesting, because how do you just let go in an instant? Oh, there's a light. It must be such a moving thing to watch for I guess them. she wasn't so bad. Or a ghost. You think she's really going to a better place? I hope so. Well, they can have his hope. Well, I guess we'll never know. Not until we take the plunge ourselves, huh? Doesn't really matter, Dean. Hope's kind of the whole point. Very interesting episode. This was told through the point of view of someone else. We're so used to seeing it through Sam and Dean's point of view and figuring things out as they do, but they knew the whole time this time. And we were following it along from Molly's perspective. So we were trying to figure out what was happening. Safe to say I got a lot wrong. I did not see that ending twist coming. I worked out a whole theory about Greeley's wife cheating on him and I was like kind of set on that. And it turned out like there was no beef there. It was just all focused on Molly. If anyone managed to work that ending out, I applaud because that has to be one of the biggest plot twists in a Supernatural episode, I think. It was very moving as well. It was really quite sad to watch because, because Molly clearly had no idea herself and we knew how much she loved her husband and she hadn't been able to move on for 15 years due to her unfinished business with him. 
and Sam and Dean knew all along and Sam it explains now I guess why Dean was a bit more cutthroat with her did think he was being a bit savage to this poor civilian who had no idea what was going on he's not usually that harsh but as she was just a ghost I guess you know he had a right to be more peed off with her because she is part of the problem. Sam, bless him. It shows how much he does care about things, not just people, because he knew that she was a ghost. He felt guilty and wanted to tell her what was going on the whole time. And I mean, Dean is right. It, it was the best thing to do to not tell her because they needed her as bait and to end the case, because um, she would have just ran off and she would have actually been able to get far probably because she is a ghost at the end of the day but he still felt awful about lying because she is a good supernatural being she's not something that needed to be vanquished or extinguished she just needed to let go and move on herself i feel like that kind of ties in with the first episode when dean was in that in-between thing because he had unfinished business but it's so cool we got the two polarizing sides of um a good ghost and an evil ghost really took having unfinished business to the extreme and he wanted revenge whereas she had unfinished business and was still a good person out of it yeah that final scene was actually quite moving when we saw her going going into the light and they were telling her the whole history of what had happened sam in particular because as i say he ha he does have that sweet calming tone that puts people at ease and the way he was telling it to her so softly like oh, it made it sadder like, I feel like it wouldn't have been as sad if Dean was the one telling the whole story because he is quite brash. Um, but Sam doing it, you could tell how sincere he is and how much he cares. He was just, you know, gently telling her you need to move on and being really nice to her about it. This episode also played into the heaven and hell questioning. All we can do is hope that it does exist. But Sam obviously is still scared that even if it exists, he won't be going to heaven. You can see him betwixt about that. And at any time she would mention like where do they go afterwards you can see him getting a bit melancholy he's still scared of where he's gonna go and this was another really good episode i wasn't expecting such another good episode straight after again they've had so many good episodes in a row i'm waiting for the next dud so that's it for today guys thank you for watching my reaction to season 2 episode 16 of supernatural if you want to watch my uncle reactions to supernatural the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for episode 17 Bye.